Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Trains Automation Destination. So in today's uh, session, we are going to discuss about Selenium 4.12.0, which is the latest release. Then we are going to discuss about how we can execute the test cases without having the browser installed in our system. First, we will be discussing about Chrome and then we will be discussing about Firefox and how it is handled by the Selenium. Okay. So without further delay, let me jump on to the documentation part. So these are some of the changes which Selenium has brought in. So major changes what they have brought in, they have brought in from Selenium Manager perspective, which is the integral part for downloading the browser as well as driver. Okay. So if you look at it, these are some of the bugs which they, uh, for which they have provided the fix. Okay. Apart from it, uh, let me go to the official documentation. So as they have uh, uh, brought in major change in the Selenium Manager, and this particular release is mainly dedicated for Firefox browser management, right? We'll be discussing it uh, later today, right? So if you look at it, so uh, prior to Selenium version 4.11.0, so Selenium Manager, or, uh, uh, which is integral part of Selenium 4, it was responsible for automated driver management what does that mean so if uh, we remember in selenium 3 we were using web driver manager right then what they have done in selenium 4 they have incorporated web driver manager changes within the selenium and we don't need a third party dependency okay so uh, we simply need to write web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and it is automatically taking care of downloading the driver it was automatically taking care of it right but now what happened uh, Chrome has introduced a dedicated version which started causing the issues. Okay, so they dedicated a version for Chrome and they have changed the location of downloading the driver, right? Which started becoming an issue. Okay, and people had started getting the issue. So it be become a necessity for Selenium to provide a release. So what they have done, they have uh, along with downloading the driver, they have now started downloading the browser as well. So, using this feature, uh, what they have, what, what we can achieve now, we can uh, like execute the test cases against a specific version. Even we can test it against future releases as well, which we can uh, 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 like get to know from the dashboard, right? What are the future releases? So, if these are the some of the future releases, so we will be discussing it uh, today. And in case you want to take a look at look at how the problem for testing is used for execution you can go back to my previous video and i'll put them into the description as well right now uh, as you see as you have seen like automated browser management what does that mean they are now downloading the chrome for testing in case of 4.11 then what they thought of they, they they started connecting with firefox team and they requested firefox team i mean selenium team they have requested with the uh, or connected with firefox and in the similar fashion what chrome for testing was doing firefox also started doing in the same fashion meaning what they are doing they are also providing binary as well as drivers right compatible drivers okay so in 4.12.0 what they have done similar to uh, chrome for testing uh, feature which they have uh, developed in 4.11.0 now in 4.12.0 we don't need to have firefox browser installed in our system right and we don't and we, we can even execute the test cases against the future releases so if we talk about uh, uh, like uh, firefox so the feature releases are nightly right stable and beta right and in case of uh, chrome it was stable beta dev and canary right and uh, this is about 4.12.0 and now they are planning it for the edge as well which is going to be part of 4.13.0 right so this is what they are going to do Apart from it, what are the major changes? They have uh, like brought in some changes and improved some changes in the CLI argument, configuration file, environment variables for Selenium Manager, right? Which will help us in debugging, right? If we want to override some of the parameters of Selenium Manager, right? Apart from what, what is the uh, default values. So they have improved the caching mechanism by which now they are deleting the Selenium Manager as well after each execution right so uh, if you are not aware where uh, selenium manager is maintaining this uh, driver and uh, browsers you can go back to my previous video i'll or i'll be just sh uh, showing you so this is the location where they uh, like download the driver as well as binary 
So previously, uh, prior to 4.11.0, they were downloading only drivers, but now they have started downloading the binary. Okay, so let me jump onto the code. So if you look at it, I have Maven project wherein I have uh, I'm using 4.12.0 as discussed, right? I'm now going to standalone driver. So what I'm going to do, I am going to simply write web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. We don't need to write web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup something like that. So what it will do, if you notice. I have removed everything and uh, I also don't have any Chrome browser installed in my system and let me show you from here so I don't have any Chrome browser installed in my system so this is some Google link correct so now what I'm going to do I'm simply going to trigger the execution so when I will trigger the execution what will happen uh, let us see it will download the driver as well as binary so let us see So if you notice, it has started the execution, Chrome browser got launched and it has entered the source demo.com, which is intentional, right? If you notice, we are testing it against 116, right? So in case we don't provide any browser version, then it will download the stable version, right? And in case we have Chrome already installed, what it will do, it will initialize that stable version that Chrome, right but in this case what it has done it is launching the Chrome for testing which has a different icon right uh, than the standard okay let me go to that location where uh, selenium, selenium downloads I'm just going one step back and coming here so if you look at it so this is the location of binary right so this is where it is pointing internally and if we now go back here so this is the driver right so along with driver, they are downloading the browser as well and which they are internally using to execute the test cases, right? So this is one of the cool feature of Selenium where they have removed the dependency of having the browser installed in the system, right? Similar, similarly, what we need to do, uh, we can uh, now apart from it, what, what else I can do? I can execute my test cases against a different browser as well. Chrome options, using Chrome options, new Chrome options correct and uh, in Chrome options what I need to do I need to type in set browser version let me for example type in 117 which is the next release uh, so let me show you how to uh, get it now so this is the next release which is beta right so in this case what should happen I need to provide this right so let us see I'll show you where the execution will take place so in this case, what it will do, it will download the Chrome for testing browser binary for 117 as well as driver. Okay. Uh, so let it uh, execute and I'll show you and navigate to, to the same folder. Right. So let me go here. And uh, if I, for example, let me come back. So if you notice what it has done, it has started the execution against Chrome for testing v117. And I have previous versions as well, which was v116, correct? So this is v117, right? And now let me go to the same folder. So you will observe, apart from 116, I have 117 now as well, right? So whichever the browser version we will provide, it will be able to execute the test case against that, right? So this is how we can achieve the execution against a specific browser uh, version, I mean. And in case we don't have browser installed, then also we can independently execute the test cases, right? So in case of Firefox also, uh, as uh, they have brought in change for Firefox, so we don't uh, we need to simply write web driver by uh, driver Firefox driver, and simply we need to execute the test cases. So when we will execute the test cases, it will uh, again uh, download the Firefox driver. Uh, like in case of Firefox, it would be Gecko driver. So we will have one folder Gecko. Similarly, we will have Firefox, right, for the Firefox binary in case we don't have Firefox installed. So this way we will be able to execute the test cases. But yeah, uh, I want to share you one uh, uh, important uh, impo important information that Firefox has some issues. For that, I have reported the issue. Uh, let me uh, go to that issue. Uh, I have uh, recently reported. So let me show you that issue. Once again. So they are going to provide some fix for this. In some machines it may work, but in some machine it may not work. Okay. Uh, let me issues selenium, right? 
so let me show you so we are navigating to this 173 so if you notice what i have recently introduced in 4.12.0 unable to download firefox browser right in case firefox is not installed so they have considered this as a bug and they have tagged it as c java okay and we got the response as well so uh, what they have done uh, they have said firefox does not work when capability sent to driver include beta and nighty uh, nightly i mean so we have to remove the capability after selling another right so it is working in some machines and in some machines it is not working so he clearly mentioned that it is not working as expected in java and they will provide an updated release okay so this is it uh, from the uh, current session this is what we wanted to discuss so we discussed about uh, what what is the core feature like uh, we don't need to have chrome installed in our system to execute the test cases similarly we don't need to have firefox installed in our system to execute the test cases so this is it uh, for now uh, thank you for watching uh, please like share and subscribe if you really find it useful thank you for now